Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Superdale, and today I got a great video for you. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send files, whether it's pictures, movies, TV shows, from your computer, all right, on over to your Apple TV 4K. It's very easy, it's fun, and again, it's just meant to make our lives a little bit easier. Only thing I, I say you're going to need is one application that you're probably familiar with, but it's totally different from the version that you would get on Android, all right, devices, all right? And so with that being said, let me do this. The application that you're going to need is VLC, all right? It's right there in my top left-hand corner. Just in case you don't have VLC, all right, let me show you how you can get it. Go into your app store, which is right here. Go in there, and right at the top is already in search mode. Go down to VLC, type in VLC. And so, even though I see it right here at the bottom, I'm gonna just go over here just for demonstration purposes and put C on there. All right, now I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna go down and highlight it. First thing you want to do is click on it. Now, when we get to this part, if you never have VLC, it's going to say install. It's not going to say open. You will have to install it on your device first. So if you see install right now on your screen, please select install. Everybody else, it will either say update or it's going to say open. Now that we got the new people who installed VLC, Let's all select open at the same time. So I'm going to click open. And from here, we got four categories, guys. Four categories. We got local network. We got remote playback. We got network streams. And we got settings. The only thing I want you to worry about in this category is remote playback. The reason we're going to select, select remote playback is because, again, I'm going to send movies TV shows from my computer and a picture from my computer and remotely send them right over here to the Apple TV 4K. And so I'm in remote playback. I want to turn this option on. You see where it says enable remote playback? I need you to click that because right now it's saying inactive server. We're going to make this. We're going to turn this bad boy on. And when we turn it on, it should do this. It should give you two URLs. You can use either one of them. I'm going to use the one, the numbers, the one with the numbers that says 192.168.1.8. You can use lab.local. It is up to you. All right. I'm going to use the numbers. So with that being said, I'm going to go over to my computer right now. We are good to go here. We are good. We are we are on. We're done with this for right now. Go over here to your computer, all right? And so this is my computer. I am on my PC as we speak. And if you're not subscribed to me, there you have a chance. That's all you got to do is subscribe to me uh, and definitely uh, click that notification bell and select all. But let's go over here. Remember, I'm going to input uh, 192, which it told me to do, 1.168.1.8. Now, yours is going to be a little bit different, all right? Don't think your URL is going to be the same as mine, all right? Yours is going to be a little bit different. From there, once you put in that, that, that URL number, I'm going to hit enter. On my computer, it says remote playback, and look what it says, drop files. Drop files in the window to play them on your Apple TV, or click the button. The plus button, which is right here, you could do, well, you can't see it on your screen, but it's in the top right-hand corner. So you see my little mouse? If you go over here to the top, you can't see it, but you can hit a plus button, all right? I'm going to just drag some film over here. So you see me drag this over here, all right? And it's saying acting silly. You see that right there, MKV. I'm also going to put a picture over here. You see me just dragging right where it says drop file. I'm doing that. Also, you will see me uh, 
put this on there. Do not use. All right. So I don't know if I'm going to open that up. I can't remember what that is. And for demonstration purposes, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the first, no, the, the seventh season of Bosch. Some of y'all know about this. Some of you may not. But I do have this on my computer. And this is season seven, all eight or nine episodes. Look what, you, look what will happen when you do TV series. I'm dropping, and look at this. You see all of this data getting uploaded to the Apple TV 4K. And so, again, it does one, two, three, four, five. It does six at one time, and then it'll come back once the one or two of these are done, it will come back and get the seven, um, episode seven and episode eight. But while it's doing that, guys, I can go over to my for Apple, to TV. Apple TV. Check this out. Okay. I can go well, down. With VLC, that. you will uh, get that option. So up. if you class, all right? Sorry about that. I can go, and let me do that again, all right? I can go into back into my VLC, and you will see everything right here. It's ready to go. You see a video called Acting Silly. You see Bosch. You see all of that right here, and it's being uploaded as we speak, and it's still being uploaded because it's a nice size file. And again, you see it's going all the way to the end, and you be good to go. I mean, it's very, very nice, all right? But if I wanted to watch a video right now, say one that's already ready to go, we know Acting Silly is ready to go. All you got to do is click. And you see me being silly and everything, doing my moves, my dance moves. Some of y'all can't do this. I'm a, I'm a good dancer. We can get it in one day. I can break dance and all of that. All right, but you're just seeing me acting a little bit silly. But if you're done with it, you can always back up out of it and go from there. If you want to watch the TV show, and again, the TV show is not ready, uh, you can watch it. Also, you can go on here and do some pictures. This is my son right here, and I'm going to pause it because it is a picture. And, um, of course, a movie is trying to play. But you see him right here. He created this, you know, when he was like seven, eight years old in elementary. And, you know, everything he has on, he created, except for the shirt and the jogger pants. But he thought he was a superhero, all right? And maybe he is, all right? But this was my uh, son. This is Junior right here. And this is what he, he called himself, Boat. And he used to wear this every day as a kid. He loved them dang on uh, cartoons and stuff like that. All right? So we, we, we got the pictures. Let me go back because you, now you're going to see episode 7 and episode 8 get uploaded. And it's as simple as that, guys. This is just how it is with remote playback. And, again, you can drag anything over here. It doesn't matter. And as you see, it's getting ready to finish. Once this laser go across, it is finished. So now when I, and again, this is on my computer, but when I go back to my uh, Apple TV and say I want to watch season seven, episode one, look how quick they play. Look at that. Look how quick that is. All right, let me go over here. Episode two. Look how quick it play instantly. All right. I can pause it. I can skip ahead. I can do all of that. You know, unpause it and look at that. I can pause it, skip ahead, depending on what you want to do. It, play, it plays instantly. That's how beautiful this is. This is a very nice setup that VLC done for Apple TV 4K. The reason they did it this way because they know the Apple TV 4K does not have a USB slot so we can put our flash drives or external hard drives in there. They know that. So they created this for the Apple TV 4K so we can remotely send videos over to it. We all know pretty much every Android um, device out there either comes with um, um, open um, USB slots or we can create one with an OTG cable and we can put a flash drive, external drive in there and we can watch our content. 
I just think this is very, very nice what we have here. It's, it works. If you follow my step by step, you will not have any issues. But now, last thing, this is the last thing right here. If I turn this off, no, I got two more things. If I turn this off and we go back into the computer, if you get this, all right, if you get this, I'm going I'm to refresh it. And if you get this right here, you know why you got this. If you type in that URL and you get this, it's because the option right here is not on. It's not activated. Enable. So make sure you turn that on, right? Make sure it's on. So now when we go back to the computer and we do a refresh, right? We do a refresh, we're back on. And look at this. Look how it looks. This is beautiful. And again, you can watch it, right? You know, you can just click on it and, you know, and it will play on your your uh, Apple TV 4K. All right. Now, last but not least, last but not least, I didn't mean to click that because if you click it, you can download it on your computer as well as you see. I didn't mean to do that. All right. But let me show you this. All right. Last thing, this is it before we get up out of here. If you want to delete, say you don't want this, you watch everything, you don't want it on here, hold it. Click on it. Whatever video it is, it's going to tell you what you need to do. Press the play and the pause button to delete. So when I place, when I click it, the play and the pause button, I can delete it. It's as simple as that. Again, Take your remote. Let me do this. Let me make myself a little bit larger so you can see this. I have one video highlighted, right? Press, click, and then go down to where it says play, pause, all right? Hit that, and then it'll give you the option, all right? It'll give you the option of deleting. That's simple. That's just how easy it is. Again, Hold it. It'll get the wiggling, like shaking, all right? And you hit your play, pause, and then you can delete it. It's as simple as that. That is the easiest way. Guys, if you have anything, you 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 still don't get it, you don't understand it, definitely leave the comments, you know, below. I would love that. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification. All right, make sure you select all and also share this on all platforms. Apple TV 4K and VLC, is, this is amazing. All right, I've done this on my live shows, but I never did a dedicated video. Now you got a dedicated video. Salute, everybody be safe out there. This is Superdale. Love to hear from you. What is your favorite media player? Leave it down there in the comments so we can help everybody. And we'll talk to you later. The Superdale, I'm out. Peace.